Hello guys, Emmanuel from Marks here and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the 403 forbidden error in WordPress. So if you're having this error in WordPress, um, basically there are three uh, major places where you're going to find um, this error occurring. Um, when you're trying to log in to your WordPress website on your WordPress pages and doing um, WordPress installation. So in whatever case you're finding this error, one of these solutions should work uh, to solve the 403 error. So uh, the most common uh, reason why you you get the 403 error is a corrupt .htss file. Okay, so this article is available on Whipping Marks, and I'm going to link it in the description of this video, so you could um, go through it to um, understand more about this um, 403 forbidden error. So the most common reason is a corrupt .htss file. So the way you fix this is you go over to your cPanel and you go over to the file manager and you navigate to your WordPress website repo, okay? So here we have uh, WP admin, WP content, WP include and everything else. So we're looking for .htss and as you can see here, it's not being displayed. So the way you get um, hidden files to be displayed on the file manager is going over to settings and clicking on show hidden files, okay? So just click on save and now you should get the .htss file. So in order to solve this issue, just all you have to do is come over here and rename this .htss file to something like test. Okay, you can rename this to anything. Um, the reason why we're doing this is so WordPress is going to um, detect that there's no .htss file and it's going to work um, directly without the corrupt file. So this should fix the 403 error on your WordPress website. And after the error is fixed, you can just come over to settings, permalinks and click on save changes and it's going to generate, uh, automatically generate a new .htss file on your file manager that it's not corrupt. Okay. So this is just um, one solution you could try. If this doesn't work out, uh, the next um, thing you should check for uh, wrong file permissions on your server. Okay. So WordPress, these three WordPress um, folders, they should have uh, a single permission type 755 okay so if i right click on this and i go to change permissions um, you're going to notice here the permissions for this wp content is all wrong so i have you have to make it um, 755 you just have to check everything for user check only read and execute read and execute for world also so once you do this you should have 755 so um the Anybody uh, visiting your website, the general public, they're going to be able to read and execute, but they will not be able to write anything. Group, the same thing. Then user should be able to write to the system. So you have 755. So once you do this, it should stop the four, um, 403 forbidden error. Also, we're also going to check for WP admin. So WP admin is already at 755, and we're going to check for WP include. Okay, so this is also 755. So once you make sure these um, three folders are 755 and they're not being restricted you should fix it should fix the 403 forbidden error on your WordPress website okay so this is another uh, solution you could try um, there's also one more solution you could try here and that is um, disabling all your plugins okay so this can also be a plugin related issue some security plugins actually trigger the 403 error by trying to um, change the permission for certain uh, sections of your WordPress website. So you, all you have to do is deactivate any security plugin that you've added or just deactivate all your plugins. So in cases where you're not able to even log into your WordPress website and disable all your plugins, just go over to your file manager, go over to WP content and rename the WP plugins to something else. So I could just rename this to anything else. Let's say HP here and once you try to log into your WordPress website, um, all plugins are going to be automatically disabled because there's no plugin um, folder here. Okay, so that's how you uh, solve the issue if it is plugin related. So you can try out any of these solutions to fix the issue. You can also roll back to a previous version of your WordPress if you back up your WordPress website. So if you have a previous backup, you can just roll back and um, do things um, differently and see if it's um, the 403 error is triggered again. So those are the 
uh, four basic things you could do to fix this. And if none of these things you uh, you've done fix fixes the 403 error on your WordPress website, you should contact your WordPress uh, website host. So just contact the hosting um, team and they should be able to fix the 403 error for you. Okay, so it's very, very straightforward. If you try these four methods, they don't work, just contact your um, hosting company for a solution. Okay, so that's about it for this video. If you found the video useful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. With that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video.